Have you ever dreamt about having an inventory like this? Do you want an inventory like this? Yeah, me too man. Many people think trading is hard because of terms like float value, blue gem, angel pattern, fire and ice, phase 2, quick buy, oh my god fucking low ball minus rate and block. Trading actually isn't hard if you follow this guide. The reason I'm making this guide is because a lot of people has asked me to make a guide on trading. So here. To start trading, the first thing you need to do is to get keys. Keys are the main currency in CSGO trading, exactly like the dollar bill. Except the dollar bill is real and the other is fucking pixel on the screen. To start trading, I recommend you to get at least 10 keys. If you can't afford them, I don't know, just take your mom credit card or something. I know this sounds cliche, but buy low and sell high. Trust me, it works. I made like 23 million in one day. In Maple Story. But where do you get your profits? Well, there's a website called CSGOLounge.com where you can trade your skins, bet on your favorite teams, and not feel lonely anymore because you'll get dozens of friend requests per day from scammers, bots, and retards. Click here to learn more. And save 3% off your next purchase at G2A.com. Like I said, you need to get profits by buying low and selling high. In fact, almost everyone is doing this. The term for this is called ripoff. A uh, uh, quick selling, quick selling. So, how do you make a trade? On CSGOLaunch.com, go to the top right of the screen and click Add Trade. It should redirect you to a page like this. Now click Retry using Steam Community Public API 15 times. On the left side of the screen is your CSGO inventory, whereas your right side of the screen is the place where you can search the item that you want to buy. Alright, on your CSGO inventory, search your keys and click on them. Now on the right side of the screen, search an item that is very popular and very easy to sell. In this current time recording, it is the AWP Asimov. Alright, on the description, you need to let people know that you are quick buying, so I'll type something like this. And on the next line, you need to inform people the price of how much you are buying the AWP Asimov. Like I said, buy low. So buy a little under market price. So. Alright, then on the next line, you need to really, really inform people, be firm on your decision that you are quick buying. So type something like this. Alright, after that, click close trade and wait for your first customer. Alright, we got our first customer. Let's see what he just said. Hey, there we do on this. Holy shit. Wow. I forget I mentioned that you get people like this every day. It's really retarded. Like, you basically... You you firm, I just firmly said 1 for 1 and he said 1 for 2. I mean, how retarded can this guy get? There are 3 simple things you need to do every time you deal with people like this. The first thing you need to do is reply to them and type something like this. Oh my god, law baller, minus rep and block. Reply to them this and press post reply. The second thing you need to do is go to the CSGO lounge profile and press minus rep right here, the minus button right here. And the reasons. Law balling and press send. You didn't put any reasons, or oh, it's too short. Alright, alright. And the last thing you need to do is go to your Steam profile and minus rep them there too, because this will permanently damage their reputation. Alright, after you bought your first Asimov, you want to sell it high, but not so high, just a little bit above market price. If not, people might call you a ripoff and you don't want that. So what you want to do is to go in-game and inspect your new Asimov to find legit reason to sell above the market price. Alright, this is a newly bought Betascar Op Asimov and its price at this current time recording is $21. Now, what can we find to bump the price up? Oh look, a sticker. The current price for the sticker in the market is $1 right now. So let's add $1 to the total value. What else? What else? Hmm. Oh, I think this orb looks factory new. The only one in the market right now, I think. Alright, so let's add $50 to the total value. Yeah, that seems fair. What else? What else? What else? What else? Holy shit! Zebra pattern. $200. $200. Repeat all these steps until you get rich. Pretty simple, right? These are the general rules which you should follow while trading. If people lowball you, minus rate and block them. Never buy a guy or a flip knife because they are hard to sell. When you are buying knives, stay away from better scar or well-worn condition. Stickers doesn't add value to your skins, unless it's your skin. 
Never buy stat track knives. People need to overpay if you are downgrading. People who ask for overpay while downgrading are ripped off. Minus wrap them. Do not accept vanilla keys. Don't buy case hardened skins. If you think I miss out on anything, comment down below. But no one will give a shit. Alright, I thought that I should make a whole section just for case hardened because they are very complicated. You know, different type of pattern and everything. Like I said, do not buy case hardened as they are extremely hard to sell. But if you happen to have one, no worries man. All you need to do is to exaggerate a little, just a little, to make selling them easier for you. I'll show you some examples. Blue gem, blue gem, blue gem, blue gem. 100% rare blue gem. Now for a section of slaughters. Slaughter has so many different type of patterns. Here are just to name a few. Centered diamond pattern, angel pattern, dog bone pattern, arrow pattern, K pattern, uh, wiggly wiggly pattern. Now for satisfaction. Trading is very, very hard work. And after months and months and months of trading, you should at least get some recognition for your hard work. So what I do is, I tell my friends about the skins I earn. My, my only, my only friend. Hey, Rit. Hey, dude. Dude. What? I got a knife, finally. My first knife. I finally, and? after like, so many months of trading, I finally got, I finally rich. So? If that doesn't work out, you can do another tactic that is totally foolproof and will boost your ego. Trade all your expensive skins to your smurf and have your smurf trade back your skins. Now, go to a casual match and access your inventory from there. After accepting all the new items, the game chat will be spammed with all your expensive items that you just received. It's a sure way to get reactions for all your hard work. Trust me. There you go. Now wait for all the reactions. Anytime now. Anytime. Any there you go. What WTF? Finally. Now there'll be more reactions. I just wasted 3 months of my life, didn't I? Oh, 